Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's performance here. We are in Palo Alto bringing guests in remotely that watch price all around the world for future ready storage with IBM. I'm John Furrier, your host Dave Vellante here with me. Audrey O'Donnell is here, product manager, IBM Flash System. Audrey, great to have you. Thanks for coming in from North Carolina. Thanks so much for having me. So we're going to get into the IBM storage assurance announcement, new ways to optimize the IT budget. Before we get started, why is there a need for storage assurance perpetual? Take us through the, the, the need. Yeah, so I think it was already hit on a bit with Dennis and Sam's intro, and especially in the current need that we have around AI projects constraining IT budgets, as well as just the need to stay modern and get out of this box mindset. But really, this is tackling an age-old problem that has always existed for storage clients around trying to balance the modernization and budget certainty and having price protection in the low TCO. Ultimately, clients need to stay modern. Today, it's really around cyber resiliency, but maybe it's around AI tomorrow. They need the latest infrastructure to keep up with their business needs and regulations. And yet, they can't afford to refresh their equipment every couple of years. And Hardware is naturally inflexible and doesn't want to be upgraded without a large rip and replace. So what can clients do in that scenario? That's what this program and this purchasing option is really here to address. So Audrey, I'd love to get into the differentiation because there's a lot of stuff out there on whether it's storage as a service or different programs and sometimes it gets confusing. But may, So maybe you can start with what exactly storage assurance is all about. What is the program? Yeah, absolutely. So Storage Assurance Perpetual, we really do believe we've designed it in a very differentiated way to uniquely address clients' needs, leaning into our specific flash system in innovations that we have. Um, but first, let me just explain what it is and what our approach is. IBM Storage Assurance Perpetual at the highest level is a higher level maintenance contract that is a subscription to innovation as well to future software and hardware upgrades over time. So you purchase a box, you sign up for this high level contract and you can have peace of mind and ease of management in your storage life cycle. Not having to think about when is my next refresh? What's the best time be to balance my modernization needs and my budget risk and my lower TCO? This program has all of that built in for you. So if you could pull up slide one, what it shows is we really built that around three key pillars. The first is all around hardware modernization. As I said, the goal of buying IT for life and staying modern forever with budget certainty really is hardest around the hardware part because hardware is inflexible. You either need to rip and replace the whole infrastructure or replace one part at a time, ultimately building some kind of Franken system after a certain period of time. So first, what we do in this program is we constantly allow clients to stay modern, included in this program are automatic hardware refreshes around lifecycle SLAs, wherein clients need those refreshes. So this is, if you need more performance after year three, you're gonna get it. This is, if ever you are knocking the latest software upgrades, you're going to get a full system refresh in that scenario. If ever you're about to go end of support, you'll get a full system refresh before that happens. Or if ever you're desiring to do a capacity upgrade, but the vendor doesn't have supply, you'll get a full system refresh. But we know the hardware piece of it, it's just one piece of it, right? You also need that peace of mind. So we want clients to be able to rest assured with this purchasing option by having higher level premium maintenance, with the technical account manager meeting with them quarterly to be able to ensure they have proactive support and are on the correct modern hardware for their use case, as well as non-disruptive migrations. That subscription to hardware innovation over time, we guarantee that will be non-disruptive from one system to another with our flash grid technology which is really why we're releasing this program now and why it is so exciting to us. Finally, for clients that really care about sustainability, we guarantee energy efficiency. This means there's watts per terabyte you won't exceed for your product, so you can know and plan for the highest your energy cost or carbon footprint would ever get. On top of that, the last piece is really around the contract. 
We know we need to provide all this with price protection and budget certainty for clients. And so what we do is we say, okay, you can buy this in a four or an eight year contract and pay upfront annually, quarterly or monthly. And no matter which option you choose, you have price protection from day one, inclusive of all these future hardware refreshes that you trigger through this program. This includes Storage Insights Pro and Storage Virtualize and all the software and everything that you would need, as well as this peace of mind through your storage life cycle and less overhead that you have to take on as a business to manage your storage life cycle. But you also need flexibility. So that's the last piece of this that I'll explain, which is at any time during the cycle, if you would like to do an upgrade out of cycle, all your SLAs are being met. You are in support with that premium level maintenance. You can get the latest software upgrades on your current existing device. You could upgrade your capacity if you wanted to, your performance, your energy efficiency are being met, but you say, there's an innovation that they released that we need to have. You can do that. You can trade in your current system and get a discount for a new system out of cycle. Or you could also, if your workload changes, go from one generation to another to be able to get something that would satisfy your workload. So there's really those three key tenets, hardware pieces and refreshes over time, being able to have that rest assured, peace of mind experience throughout your storage life cycle with that white glove like treatment um, and really contract budget certainty with flexibility to meet clients needs in a way that they can buy IT for life. Thank you, Audrey, for that description. So as I said up front, there are a lot of different programs out there. I wonder if you could help us understand how you're different. I mean, you hit on a lot of the benefits, but how are these, how is this program different from the several uh, sort of as a service programs that we've seen in the market over the last couple of years? Yeah, great question. So as far as as a service, really that is on typically vendor owned infrastructure. This is client owned infrastructure where you are gaining that higher level of maintenance plus these future refreshes included. A lot of vendors do have solutions like this in the market. And what they typically do is after a certain time period, they will give you a controller only upgrade. You'll notice that that's not really what we said in this program. We said we were doing full system upgrades, which is extremely differentiated. Here's why we're doing that. It's because at the core, our approach to the flash storage market is differentiated. We don't just innovate in the software layer on top of industry standard components. We also innovate in our flash core module drives. That meant two things for designing this program for us. First and foremost, it meant that at the end of the day, our clients, in order to stay modern, want drive innovations over time included in any modernization program. And this is a great thing because they're not committed to the drive size they chose at day one. They get capacity consolidation, energy efficiency, um, rack space reduction included over time in this program, but also they get innovations like our inline threat detection, ransomware threat detection that we can deliver at the drive level, which is industry leading. But it also means a second thing, because we innovate in the drives, one of the things that we do is we offload a lot of the compute intensive tasks like compression, like garbage collection onto the drives with computational storage. And so our controllers aren't constrained nearly as much as the industry standard flash storage architecture constrains their controllers. If we replaced controllers over time, clients wouldn't see that much of a performance bump or benefit because ultimately we scale our performance with our capacity as well as with the controllers. So what we did is we leaned into those innovations. We leaned into that differentiation we provide in the product. And what we've done is we say with this program, because of our non-disruptive system to system migration capability, you can non-disruptively get hardware and software innovations over time in a full system sense, instead of just ripping one part out and replacing it at a time. You're not gonna eventually put a Ferrari engine in a Honda Civic. You are going to get true innovation and modernization over time. And at the same competitive TCO that our competitors 
are providing you control or only refreshes because we are able to have industry leading price performance because of that computational storage offloading, our devices don't require as intense as CPUs. So hopefully that explains some of our differentiation. The differentiation that we have in this program really is leaning into the differentiation that we have in our systems themselves, which I think is really exciting. That's awesome. Thanks for that description, Audrey. We heard from Dennis at the top of the kickoff of the of this event around moving from a box centric view into much more of a pools of storage. This kind of hits that point there that the consumption and all the upgrades are kind of turnkey. Uh, I can see this aligning well with the trend towards clustered systems and AI infrastructure where you just got to continue to move fast. So the question I, I would have is, okay, that, that checks the box. What does the contract look like for people who want to do this on the purchasing side? And then what does the capacity upgrades look like? Because now you're getting into, okay, I'm procuring, I'm, I'm saving some time there with procurement. This is seamless from a consumption standpoint. Has it worked? What's the contract look like? And, and am I really saving money here? What's the IT optimization piece of it? Can you tie those together? Yeah, absolutely. So from a contract perspective, this is really that higher level maintenance. So you purchase a box and then you're able to get that four or eight year and it has flexibility built into how you can pay for that contract. So you can purchase it upfront, quarterly, monthly, annually, whatever is best for your business. So that has flexibility in your payment, but you have price protection from day one. So whatever you agreed to from day one, any refreshes that you get throughout that are included around these SLAs and guarantees, you will continue to have that flat rate. And at any point, if you need to break your contract and upgrade, again, you can. That is an additional fee, but you have that flexibility built in from day one. But I think on top of that, the capacity upgrade part of this is really exciting because this is how you can really lower your TCO. You lower your TCO because you don't have as much storage lifecycle overhead, and you're able to get this subscription to innovation in hardware and software over time, and this higher level maintenance contract all bundled in together. It's basically like an insurance policy. It will pay out as much as needed, so you could really, really save yourself a lot there. But we also are differentiated in how we allow capacity upgrades which lowers the TCO on the clients. A lot of vendors in the market, especially in programs like this, you have to trade in your existing capacity and completely swap it for new capacity, which is disruptive, but also tends to cost a lot of money and disruption in your process because it is a contract breaking scenario. For us, you can buy as little as one drive at a time and add it to your existing system as long as you've got empty drive slots available, and that will fold right into your contract. There is no need to have to buy large drive packs, do a whole consolidation, you just fold that right in. So from day one, you don't have to over-purchase. You can slowly add capacity as your capacity grows, which really is largely the key to optimizing your storage TCO it's to not have to pay overpay for storage from day one and not have to overpay for storage as you modernize. So I think that's what makes this super exciting from a contracting capacity upgrade perspective. So Audrey, I just want to have a follow-up question on the nuance. You mentioned this is for client-owned assets, right? So the program is specifically geared toward them and that that is different. You know, normally it's the vendor taking the paper and, and so that gives you know certain benefits to the customer, but also you know, as you said, sometimes you can't get the full full value. So I wanted to make sure that we understood that and that is part of the differentiation, is it not? Yeah, absolutely. So just to clarify, this is the new IBM Storage Assurance Perpetual Purchasing Option, which comes alongside our storage utility offering and our storage as a service offering for flash systems. So if as a service is the best option for your company, we still have that for our flash system devices. But what's really unique and awesome about this perpetual model is that it's on client owned infrastructure. So you're not basically renting the assets, you own the assets and you own the title to this, even upon these modern refreshes. And so at the end of the day, this is things that you own and 
you're not committing to some dollar per terabyte per month that could grow over time. This allows for more price protection because we're not we're locking you in and having you allow that longer term contract for that price with the flexibility at any point to trade that out. But I think that's what's really exciting for clients here is it's assets that they own, but still get that price protection flexibility on. It's classic, you know, the iceberg picture, what's under the water, you don't know the hidden costs. Shark fin is another metaphor we've seen. And TCO, this is a visibility opportunity for the, your customers to say, hey, we have full visibility into what's under the, under the iceberg, so to speak. Uh, absolutely. Dave, this is the key to success. Final question for Audrey, as you look at the, this AI wave, how does this bring that into bear for the customer? What's the benefit to the customer as they have to move their resources to be much more scalable on the IT front, fill those skill gaps, and then still ride the AI wave? What do you say to that question? Yeah, absolutely. AI is a huge hot topic right now. I think investing in IBM Storage Assurance Perpetual helps you in two key ways around AI. The first is all around this flexibility and TCO conversation. Your budget is constrained, and this way you don't have to overpurchase storage from day one, but you can easily grow as your storage needs grow, which is so crucial in these times as budgets are constrained and as you need that flexibility. But the second way is AI is going to impact the storage industry that we play in, primary box storage. It already has with our ransomware threat detection, AI-enabled machine learning um, capabilities that they're going to touch on later today. And it will continue to be an innovative thing clients will desire to pick up. And what this program allows you to do is get that modernization over time as we make those innovations in the software, in the hardware, which allows you to stay modern, but also have price protection and not have your TCO get blown out of the water, which I think is crucial as we enter this age of AI ruling off. Audrey, thank you so much for coming on the program. That's awesome. Congratulations on your product success. It's positioned, it's future ready for the for your customers and, and having that agility and consumption flexibility and, and having visibility on the economics and costs is really going to be a big back to help people plan for the AI wave and the AI systems that are being uh, put together. So appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Okay, coming up next, Mike Flynn from District Resource Systems on the Watch Party stream coming in. Stay with us for more Watch Party action and what's going on with customers? What do they think? And we'll hear from them.